Marriage is a mysterious thing. It's often described not only with words like sacrifice and compromise and struggle, but also with words like trust and beauty and joy and love. Never forget how many hands are here to support you along the way. How many people came to celebrate with you. I couldn't be more thrilled or happier to be here, to be with them in this moment, to share this incredibly special day with the both of them. And I'm sure that most of you feel much the same way. Ali, up until very recently, was the only true redhead in our immediate circle. And that fact keeps Trevor up every night, worried about how things are gonna go from here. She has always been headstrong, determined, and incredibly loving and generous. And if anybody got the worst end of her determination and fierceness, it was always Preston. I've seen him hogtied on a trampoline, left for hours at a time. She's incredibly creative. And I'm so happy that where you are right now that you're, you're still tapping in to your creativity. And at some point along the way, this amazing young woman somehow ran into Dylan. And really over the past few years, I've had the opportunity to get to know him like a brother already. For all the ways that he keeps us entertained and laughing, the things that I've learned about him at his core is that he's fiercely loyal to my baby sister. In the book of 1 Corinthians, the Bible teaches that without love, all of our good intentions and well-made plans come to nothing. Love is patient and love is kind. It does not envy or boast. It does not act in arrogance and it is not rude. It does not insist on its own way. It's not irritable or resentful. It doesn't rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. like constantly inundated with those small little issues. The crazy things that happen and go wrong in the normalcy of a day, the harsh word here, or the forgotful, the forgetful moment there. These are the moments where you gotta remember to love.
My love, I am forever grateful that God chose you to be my partner for life. I promise to care for you and to love you for the rest of my life. I promise to protect you and our family and derp not anyone that tests that. <laughs> I promise to always let you win, psych. <laughs> but on a serious note, I promise to never take your love for granted. Most importantly, I promise to always be the best husband and the best father. You will always be the love of my life, that I promise. I love you, Allison Rose Burton. Dylan Burton, since I was a little girl, I dreamed of finding the man I would spend the rest of my life with. Someone smart and funny and kind, and someone my family loved, and someone that loved me fully. Never in a million years did I expect to meet that person in sixth grade at a football game. But there you were, and when I think to the beginning of it all, one word comes to mind. Fate. Fate that out of everyone, it was your voice yelling to get my attention. Fate that my first day of school, that same voice was sitting in the desk behind me. Fate that after years spent apart, we came back together. Dylan, you're everything I prayed for and more. In the 14 years we have grown up together, you have given me so much. A home, a family, and countless laughs and tons of love. Because of you, I have found myself, I have found my best friend, and I have found my husband. I promise to love you through the bad days, and I promise to be the one that always laughs at your jokes. <laughs> I promise to stand by your side no matter what we may face in this life. I promise to take care of you and respect you, and I promise to always be your biggest fan. I promise to love you not only today, but all of my yesterdays and my every single tomorrow. I love you. I just want to wish Allie and Dylan a lifetime of happiness, and I love y'all really, really much. Eli too, you know, he's my favorite. I love y'all, I wish y'all a lifetime of happiness. That's it. This came in on fastest of the uh, uh, first tier of my how about I thank you about it? Allie, I just want to say thank you so much for being a big sister to me. This is going to go in your suit. When I say I love you more, I don't mean I love you more than you love me. I mean I love you more than the bad days ahead of us. I love you more than any fight we will ever have. I love you more than the distance between us. I love you more than any obstacle that could try to come in between us. I love you the most. Oh my gosh, baby, that's you're so beautiful. I love you so much. I love you so much too. I know this is supposed to be supposed to be this way, but it's it's just hard. I know. I have a gift for you. I forgot it. Mm. It's in the room. It's okay. <laughs> you look gorgeous, God. That's been hanging up in my room. I know. Don't you love what your money bought? Allie and Billy. 
It's about dang time. Seriously though, I could not be happier for y'all. I have so many stories I could tell about the both of you. And one of my favorite Allie stories is when she was probably three. Allie loved to dress up and would go through at least 10 outfits a day. And if it's even possible, she had more sass at three than she does now. I don't even know what she got mad about, but she was pissed and decided she was running away. She was wearing a little leotard and tutu and packed up her little suitcase ready to hit the road. <laughs> I have no clue what month it was, but it was chilly, and that little leotard and tutu weren't cutting it once she hit the porch. I guess she didn't know where she was running away to, so she opened up her suitcase, pulled everything out, and sat down in it, covering herself up with the clothes that I'm sure were as warm as what she had on already. I remember watching her through the glass door and all of us just laughing about it. It didn't take her long to come back in and decide that she would run away another day. So deal, just remember when she gets mad at you and wants to run away, let her do her thing and she'll push it off at least a few more days. And if she doesn't, dirt nap. <laughs>